You don't want to mess with the guy with the pool noodle. Uh-uh. Oh, that works. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Beware the pool noodle. That actually works pretty good. I should carry these around. Hey folks, Lester here. I am, uh, if I look exhausted, it's because I am. I'm going to tell y'all something, something that's happened the last several nights. And I'm not real sure what's going on with me. But, uh, I, it, it's my dreams, y'all. It's my dreams. Let, let's walk around the yard and I want to tell you about these dreams. And, uh, see if y'all can help make make any sense of them yeah guys i'll tell you what i had this dream last night and i told jamie this morning that i felt like the dream lasted all night long and then i recalled that i had several dreams here recently all of which felt like they've taken the entire night to dream which has left me waking up after quote unquote a full night's sleep still very exhausted and so what's weird about these dreams is that every one of them are similarly related <clears throat> in, in some ways let me get to it so last night's dream is the one that's the most fresh on my mind and so i'll go ahead and tell you about that one first listen i had a uh, gone back to work I was in my classroom, and for some reason, I had been assigned a classroom that was triangular in shape. And I guess teachers this time of year, you know, I'm not going to actually be in the classroom this year. Y'all know I'm just going to resort to driving my bus and see how that goes. But uh, classroom teachers right now are going back to work, getting ready for the school year. And what they're doing right now is arranging their classrooms, getting all of their desks set up, getting everything prepped and ready for kids to come back in the next couple of weeks. Well, guys, in my dream, my boss had given me a triangular-shaped classroom. Now, I don't know if there's anything, anything to that itself or not, but what was weird was I was having a hard time arranging my desk to fit the triangular-shaped classroom. But... Just listen to me. It took me to arrange it and then rearrange it and arrange it again and arrange it again. But I finally came up with some masterful plan that worked out so good that I couldn't believe I had done it. I remember that my boss had come by and was very impressed. And then she had me go around to other teachers who had the same shaped classroom and help them arrange their rooms. Now, you might be saying, Lester, that's pretty dumb. That's, that's just a weird dream. But listen to me, y'all. That dream took all night, or so it felt. I know they say dreams happen in only milliseconds, whatever a millisecond is. But I know that dreams happen really quick in real life. But have you ever had a dream that felt like it took all night to have? And I feel like this dream lasted the entire night. All right, so that's one dream. Uh, as I sit here and kind of self-analyze it. Hi, lovely. As I kind of self-analyze it, so there was a problem and, an, and a solution. Uh, I made my boss happy. So I would like to take that right there and say, hey, you know, Luster, you can... That's easy to interpret. That just means that you are not afraid of a challenge, you know, or whatever. Okay, we'll get this one over here. A couple of nights ago, I dreamt that I was doing a gifting goodie. <laughs> and somebody had sent me a big box. Man, it was a big box. And when I opened that box up, there were extension cords. And I mean a lot of them. They were all different colors, sizes, as far as how long they were, but they were extension cords. I mean, they were, they were extension, extension cords. But listen to me, y'all. They were all tangled. It was a big, tangled mess. And what I had to do 
was while I was on a video, I was making a video for you all, a gifting goodie. You know how I like to make those little gifting goodie videos. But I was trying to untangle those extension cords. And once again, that dream lasted the entire night. Or so it felt. I'm sitting there on a video and I'm trying to maintain my composure. And I'm sitting there unwinding this one and untangling that one and getting the knot out of this one. And they're all wrapped together. They're all tangled up. And uh, and finally, listen to me. If there's any beauty in this, it's the fact that finally I got them untangled. Yes. I don't know what the dream meant. But I woke up and it was on my mind. I told Jamie about it. And how I was trying to untangle extension cords in my dream. But the dream lasted all night because I can literally recall how, how long it took. And I dreamt every second of it. And I don't know how that could happen in just milliseconds because I dreamt every second of it. All right. So then the last dream I had a couple of nights ago. Pretty weird. All right, so you guys don't really know this a whole lot, but there's a neighborhood, a new development across the street up here, across the road. And that neighborhood is unique in the fact that, I guess like most neighborhoods, it's kind of cut into quadrants. And uh, the neighborhood is literally street after street. They, you know, uh, some run east and west, some run north and south. So what you have is a perfect grid. I'm going to get that. Um, I want to get that. Um, what do you call those things? Pull noodle out of here before someone bites on it and does something they shouldn't do. Um, I'm also going to go get that yoga ball. So listen to me, y'all. Let me draw this out for you. This is the craziest thing ever. So here's this neighborhood across the street. And this is real life. This is real life. This neighborhood is cut into, it's thousands of acres, y'all. And it's being cut into perfect little grids like that. Into little lots. And uh, in my dream, I don't know why, but in my dream, I was trying to run power lines. They had me running power lines. And trying to connect the power lines. And it was the weirdest thing. Okay, I don't need to have these guys mess with me. Uh, listen to me. These power lines were all connecting. And I remember that the, the, time, the hard time I was having is how was I going to connect them without shocking myself? Because every time I would run one, let's say east and west, I'd have to come back and tie in the north and south line to it. Okay, I know you're confused. Let me go back to my drawing. Let me just go back to my drawing over here. Hey, Brady. I want to tell you something about Brady, too, before I finish this video. Um, I was thinking about him. Look at this, guys. In my dream, I would be running a power line down the street this way. But all of a sudden, I would be confused. How am I going to connect that one without getting shocked? And then how do I connect that one? So I was taking so much time in trying to connect these power lines... And I would finally get it done, but then I would get to this next one over here, and all of a sudden, guess what? I'd be afraid of shocking myself again. And then I would do, and listen to me. I know this sounds weird to you all. Well, hello there. Hi, <laughs> hi, Pebby. Um, guys, I dreamt that, except this is a very small grid. The dream that I had consisted of doing this for thousands of acres, Okay. I'm not making this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. And I don't know why I had that dream. Hi, old nanny. Look at old nanny let me love her. She doesn't really let a lot of people love on her. Except for this morning. Oh, she knows I'm bothered by my dreams. Thank you, sweetie. That was very kind of you. I know there's a story in the Bible about a king who was bothered by his dreams. And so he had... Was it Daniel who came by? I think Daniel at that point was a, I think he was a slave. And Daniel had come by and the king had asked Daniel, or maybe the king had heard that Daniel could interpret dreams. 
And sure enough, Daniel comes by and he tells the king exactly what his dream meant. That might not have been Daniel. That was Joseph. That was Joseph. Maybe. Bottom line is, so here I am this morning, guys, and I'm looking for my Joseph. I'm looking for my Joseph. If anyone out there thinks they might know what's going on in my head and why all three of those dreams are similarly related, think about it. Number one, they've taken all night to have. And so I've waken, woken up exhausted like I didn't sleep at all because my mind, or at least I felt like my mind the entire night was focused on the task at hand. Either running those power lines without getting shot, untangling the uh, extension cords while on a video, not trying to bore you guys with the video, I was trying to untangle with style and class, if you will, and then trying to arrange that classroom. Uh, ended up being su su successful uh, at all three of those, which is good. Seriously, that's good, I guess. So if there's any, if there's a bright side to waking up exhausted, it's the fact that I did good in all three dreams. But uh, it doesn't it feel good when you spent what you want to have a restful night and you wake up tired the next morning, which is how I feel today. All right, folks, any help you can lend, I'd be excited about seeing the comments. Help me, help me interpret these dreams.